you can go up quite marginally quite fast to get 16 health professionals from Westlock are gathered together for a day of training on how to treat patients who are in shock. We call it the ABC 123 approach of shock and the intent of this is to give them those some ideas and tips and tricks to handle in the first 5 to 15 minutes to make sure that we can manage the airway breathing and circulation of this patient. The biggest thing with shock was we see it frequently. The way of treating shock is constantly kind of changing in the first line stuff and we've all learned a lot of stuff already this morning. Health providers rotate through four skill stations in the morning. Then you're just going to hold. I really like the airway. I don't do it a lot so just having that refresher. If it's a tibial IO, um, if you squeeze the calf and the flow stops, it's no good anymore, it doesn't work. Boy, I've learned so many things not to be afraid of doing an IO. <laughs> not like a no, long-term exactly. thing. Okay. The event was funded by RPAP's Rural Education Fund. This fund offers financial support for rural healthcare teams to host training opportunities in their rural community. I just want to thank RPAP for the grant. I think if it wasn't for this type of money and commitment to rural, we wouldn't have this opportunity. And I'm grateful for the newsletter because I never would have found out about it otherwise. Rachel is referring to our monthly newsletter called RPAP Review. To sign up, go to rpap.ca slash subscribe. Her friend went to go check on her today and found her very drowsy, very hard to rouse. Okay, so suction her, suction, suction. In the afternoon, the Westlock group at STARS rotated between two simulations. The simulation is all about what we call crew resource management, which is basically how do they communicate as a team, how do they work as a team, how do they make sure that everybody's on the same page. Rachel has seen firsthand the difference simulation training can make in rural hospitals. Um, last month we did pediatric sims at our hospital and two days later we had a very severe pediatric case come in and our nurses that had been on the education were working that day and it was absolutely invaluable. I think just adds more confidence to us, especially in rural sites, you kind of can recognize it quicker. Someone will monitor the oxygen. I'll monitor the oxygen. Do you have a training idea in mind for your rural healthcare team? Check out RPAP's Rural Education Fund. Go to rpap.ca slash REF. I just highly suggest anybody that can do this, do it, because it's, yeah, it's worth it.